and the power that comes with living free, then the opportunities are endless because then we start believing what God says instead of the enemy. Yeah. At any other time, I'm bound by what you will allow me to do right. or allow me to, but once I know that I'm free, oh no, I don't have to worry, I don't have to be concerned, I don't have to second guess myself. And so my, my forgiveness of others brings me freedom, but it also lets me partner with God in giving that to them potentially as well. For me, it's always, you know, have I forgiven them just because I said I did? You <laughs> right, know what I mean? Like right. I, like I, I, you know, I may have said I forgive you, and then I realize that there are these layers of unforgiveness, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't realize it until I'm in the person's presence again, or you know, their name comes up in conversation, and my, you know, my back yeah. stiffens, or. You know, all of a sudden I don't have anything to say because I can't think of what the right thing is to say because what I want to say is not the thing I should say. <laughs> nice um, say. You know, I, I kind of run into um, the realization of what real forgiveness is as I run into my lack of forgiveness. And so for me, it's just giving myself permission to take off the layers of unforgiveness as I find them. Mm. And continually, I mean, this is the scripture, right? The Bible tells us 70 times seven. Um, and this is not, you know, a, a pathway into abuse. This is not a, a free for all that people can just run all over you anytime for any reason. But it does right. give a nod to you may have to do it a few times yeah. and you may have to do it a few times with the same person, um, particularly if it's someone who is not harmful to you. But they 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 also know how to pull your chain, as sometimes, you know, people that are close to us can do. And you have to you run into it again and again and again. I think that's the beauty of forgiveness is that once you are willing to go through this process over and over again, it really does bring you to, to a place of freedom yeah. um, where you can look at someone and smile and it just doesn't jerk your chain yeah. the same way anymore. And it takes a long time. Um, so for me, forgiveness has looked like being okay with the I thought I did that, mm -hmm. you know, and realizing again that, okay. And, and when I get to that moment, it's if I have forgiven this person, what would I do? Not have I reconciled with them. Right. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's two different that's things. things. That's two different things. Yeah. But what would I do? So in this moment where someone's bringing their name up and what I really want to say is that person is absolutely no good. Because let me tell you what, <laughs> that's what I really want to say. Right. What would it look like if I had forgiven this person? Because I decided to forgive them. And now I'm walking through the layers of the reality of that forgiveness. Well, what it would mean is that if I don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. And if I can say something good, then say it, right. you know, and, and go above and beyond my emotions at that moment to act as if I am walking in that forgiveness. And so that's what actually brings the power. Forgiveness is a key to unlock um, me from being the victim, not them, right? Mm -hmm. And so as I unlock the chains of unforgiveness and move forward in the reality of that, then it's not just the knowledge of forgiveness. It is the, it is the knowledge of actually the freedom that forgiveness brings, yeah. that I am above, um, not necessarily that initial feeling, but I, I am actually able to be who I'm called to be despite what you did. Right. Mm -hmm. And that is a very powerful, very powerful knowledge of self to have that through the power of the Holy Spirit that I can forgive and I can do it over and over again even when I don't want to. Right. When I remember how often God has had to forgive me mm -hmm. over and over again for doing the same stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot of times that's what's really the hardest. It's like, I don't want to give you forgiveness because mm -hmm. we went through this already yeah. and you're still doing it again. And what does the Lord do for me? He forgives me over and over and over again. So it's layers of forgiveness and then saying, what does forgiveness look like? And doing that thing even when I don't feel like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what offense does. We take down that offense and it has defined us. And that's what we have to be careful with because that's when you rise above that Yes. You're rising above the fact that you don't define me. God defines me. That's right. You know, no one defines me. And so I, I think that's where those still that, that feeling rises up, but you have to go back to that. That's not my offense. That's your offense. That's your offense. You know, yeah. so. I remember my father-in-law, we had about six weeks with him knowing that he was going to go to heaven. 
And we talked about all kinds of stuff all through that time. Every day we sat with him. And I remember asking him with Matt, how do you know that you've really forgiven somebody? And he said, you know, he says, I think that we forgive just like we receive forgiveness or that we believe that we forgive. And so when when you do that by faith, I think sometimes it takes yeah. a lot of faith to forgive somebody faith. saying, God, yes. you see it all. Mm-hmm. You're the judge of yep. it all. There's nothing right. that goes past what you see and what you hear and all that. And knowing that it's in his hands. But he also said, he said, it's when you don't care whether they're, they get what they deserve or mm-hmm. not. That's right. right. It's when you've taken mm-hmm. all the judgment really yeah. and released that, that it releases you. I've never really thought about Jesus on the cross. I mean, we've, we've heard it said a million times, but I don't think I've ever thought that maybe we always say you forgive for yourself, not for that person. I'm going to forgive you because I need that in my life. I need to forgive. Right. Jesus probably knew I need to forgive to make this an easier thing on me mm-hmm. to not hold that against yeah. the people. So you don't hold it. I don't hold it. And right. you know, I, I'd never put yeah. two and two together. And then you talking about the, the 70 times seven. I remember listening to Stephen Furtick talking about that when, when Jesus said the 70 times seven, it was his grace extended to us. Right. That it might take us 70 times seven every day <laughs> to forgive somebody. Right. You know, when that ro- wound is raw and you're open and you're vulnerable and you're hurt and all the fences are up, that God's grace for you to forgive might take that, that right. many times. But that's okay. Yeah. That's what we do. We just constantly are in a state of forgiveness yeah. for our sake. Forgiveness is so, it's also when you were talking about Jesus on the cross, we know that forgiveness frees us. We know that forgiveness is a gift that we can extend to someone else. But I think we are partnering with God when we extend forgiveness to someone else because it gives the opportunity for someone who needs it to also be free. Mm-hmm. I, I think sometimes when, if I've wronged someone, I'm walking on pins and needles around them because even if I said I was sorry, it's kind of like, are they still mad at me? You know, or are they going to treat me differently? Um, Is this going to affect, you know, they know so-and-so. Is this going to get in the way? You know, it's like all these things to know that someone not only is giving me the gift Mm -hmm. um, that they've decided, that is a very powerful way that we partner with God Mm -hmm. in extending the grace that we've been given to someone else. And so... You know, it's just freedom all the way around. Right. Um, and freedom is where we want to all live. And Satan wants nothing better than for us to be bound. Yes. Bound by the way we think, yeah. bound by the things that we think we owe other people because we're not sure if we're okay with them. We're not sure if we're okay with mm-hmm. God. We're not sure if um, we can release what they did. To, I mean, he's just looking for any way, mentally, soulfully, spiritually, or physically to keep us bound. Mm-hmm. Um, and then to be subservient to whatever it is, whatever other people will give us. And so forgiveness allows us all to be free. And when we're free and the power that comes with living free, then the opportunities are endless because then we start believing what God says instead of the enemy. At any other time, I'm bound by what you will allow me to do or allow me to. But once I know that I'm free, oh no, I don't have to worry. I don't have to be concerned. I don't have to second guess myself. And so my my forgiveness of others brings me freedom, but it also lets me partner with God in giving that to them potentially as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.